Is it possible for the course of the Ganges to be altered once more due to another earthquake? Greetings everyone. Today we will be delving into a fascinating subject in our video. Recent research has unveiled an intriguing finding. A significant alteration in the course of the Ganges River, believed to have been triggered by a powerful earthquake approximately 2,500 years ago. This seismic event could have been influenced by tectonic activity, possibly originating from subduction zones or splay faults near the Himalayas. The study emphasizes the potential dangers that earthquakes pose to rivers in regions with active tectonic movements, affecting the lives of millions of individuals. It is crucial for us to be prepared for future seismic occurrences. These remarkable findings were recently published in the esteemed journal Nature Communications. Without any further delay, let us dive right into our discussion. According to Michael Steckler, a geophysicist at Lamont Doherty Earth Observatory, an institution affiliated with the Columbia Climate School, numerous river course alterations, known as avulsions, have been recorded by scientists, some of which have been triggered by seismic activity. However, Steckler asserts that the magnitude of the recent avulsion is unparalleled. It possesses the potential to submerge individuals and objects unfortunate enough to be in its path, emphasizing the significance of timing and location. According to Liz Chamberlain, an assistant professor at Wageningen University in the Netherlands, the connection between earthquakes and avulsion in deltas, particularly for a large river such as the Ganges, had not been confirmed until now. Originating in the Himalayas, the Ganges embarks on a journey spanning approximately 1,600 miles. Along its course, it converges with prominent rivers such as the Brahmaputra and the Meghna, resulting in a complex network of water channels that ultimately pour into an expansive expanse of the Bay of Bengal, spanning both Bangladesh and India. This amalgamation creates the second largest river system globally, measured by the amount of water discharged, with the Amazon claiming the top spot. Similar to other rivers flowing through significant deltas, the Ganges experiences occasional shifts in its course, whether minor or major, without the influence of earthquakes. Sediments carried downstream gradually accumulate and raise the riverbed slightly above the adjacent floodplain. Eventually, the water breaches its confines and starts carving out a new route. However, this process typically unfolds gradually, with successive floods spanning years or even decades. In contrast, an avulsion triggered by an earthquake can transpire almost instantaneously, according to Steckler. Using satellite images, the researchers identified what they believed to be the previous primary path of the river, located approximately 100 kilometers south of Dhaka, the capital of Bangladesh. This particular area, which spans about 1.5 kilometers in width, is situated intermittently along a stretch of roughly 100 kilometers that runs parallel to the current course of the river. It is a low-lying region that is often inundated with mud and experiences regular flooding, primarily utilized for the cultivation of rice. In the year 2018, Chamberlain and his fellow researchers were investigating this particular region when they stumbled upon a freshly excavated site for a pond that had yet to be filled with water. Along one side, they noticed distinct vertical dikes comprised of light-colored sand intersecting with horizontal layers of mud. This phenomenon is widely recognized as a consequence of earthquakes. When the ground undergoes sustained shaking in waterlogged areas, it can generate enough pressure to force buried layers of sand to surge upward through the layers of mud above them. The outcome is the emergence of actual sand volcanoes, which erupt at the surface. Referred to as seismites, these sand volcanoes measured approximately 30 or 40 centimeters in width and cut through a depth of three or four meters of mud. Upon closer examination, it became evident that the seismites displayed a consistent arrangement, indicating that they were all formed simultaneously. Through the analysis of sand grains and mud particles, it was determined that both the eruptions and the subsequent abandonment and filling of the channel occurred approximately 2,500 years ago. Additionally, a comparable site located 85 kilometers downstream in the former channel had also experienced a mud-in-filling event during the same period. 
Based on these findings, the authors reached the conclusion that a significant and abrupt avulsion was instigated by an earthquake, estimated to have a magnitude of 7 or 8. According to experts, the earthquake may have originated from one of two potential sources. One possibility is a subduction zone located to the south and east, where a massive plate of oceanic crust is sliding beneath Bangladesh, Myanmar and northeastern India. Alternatively, it could have been caused by large splay faults at the base of the Himalayas to the north, which are gradually rising due to the collision between the Indian subcontinent and the rest of Asia. A study conducted in 2016 led by Steckler indicates that these areas are currently accumulating stress and have the potential to generate earthquakes similar in magnitude to the one that occurred 2,500 years ago. The most recent earthquake of this scale took place in 1762, resulting in a devastating tsunami that travelled up the river to Dhaka. It is also possible that another earthquake of similar magnitude occurred around 1140 CE. According to the 2016 study, approximately 140 million individuals could be impacted by a future earthquake of similar magnitude. Syed Humayun Akhtar, Vice-Chancellor of Bangladesh Open University and co-author of both studies, emphasised the extensive reach and lasting consequences that large earthquakes can have on economies, societies and politics. There are several other rivers that encounter similar dangers, not just the Ganges. Among them are the Yellow River in China, the Irrawaddy in Myanmar, and the Klamath, San Joaquin and Santa Clara rivers on the US West Coast. Additionally, the Jordan River stretches across the borders of Syria, Jordan, the Palestinian West Bank and Israel. The University of Cologne in Germany, the University of Dhaka, Bangladesh University of Professionals, Noakali Science and Technology University in Bangladesh and the University of Salzburg in Austria are among the co-authors of the recent study. The research received funding from the US National Science Foundation. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.